Hello and welcome to Thursday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where I have some fantastic news for you. He's back. Fistimafel is back. Um, I didn't realise this. I'd sort of given up hoping. Um, so the last time Fistimafel published a new puzzle was back in June last year. But a few days ago, he's popped up again with a brand new puzzle called Modular Region Some Lines. Um, and yeah. I've only just found out, so I've immediately, um, I've immediately just jumped this to the top of the queue. I looked on Logic Masters, um, and look, here are some of the comments. Naughty, awesome, I liked Cam's comment. I'll give this puzzle the best compliment any puzzle can receive. This solved like a Fistimafel puzzle. Fine words indeed. Um, yeah, I mean, this, this is, um, this, this is so fantastic for the world of Sudoku. <laughs> um, Vistamafel has returned to the fold. Um, this, I think it had four stars out of five for difficulty, um, this one, which is which is not as hard as Vistamafel can be, let me tell you. It probably will be quite difficult. Um, and I, I've had a quick squiz through the rules and they are, uh, they are interesting indeed. And I will read them to you uh, in a moment or two's time. I'm so, I'm so stoked about this. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I don't have much news today. Um, just an appeal as always. If you do enjoy the channel, please have a look over at our Patreon uh, site. There is uh, lots of bonus content over there, including our monthly competition, uh, which is still running until the 20th of March. So plenty of time if you want to enter that. Um, otherwise, no other news. Oh, birthdays. I should do a couple of birthdays, actually. Uh, let's do those. So Nick, it is your birthday today. And I know this because your wife Lynn wrote to us and I think you're you're both British but are living in France at the moment and Lynn said she spends a lot of time listening to Nick yelling just do some Sudoku Simon at the television for that I apologize to you both <laughs> Maverick's just taken off would you believe it um next um Seb you've turned 20 today many happy returns I know it's your birthday because your best friend Tom uh, wrote to us uh, and and said that you both watch all the time, which I'm obviously delighted to hear. Uh, and very well done to Ellie as well, who has completed her PhD thesis and celebrated yesterday with Viennese Sasha Torta. Now I've got a picture of this, haven't I? Where is my picture? Sorry, it took me a, it took me a moment or two to find it, but this is it. <laughs> Doesn't that look brilliant? Apparently that's that that's um that's Ellie's aunt's special family recipe. And that did make me think that we should definitely, at some point, create um, the Crack in the Cryptic book of chocolate cakes that all have sort of recipes from all over the world for different kinds of chocolate cake. I think that would be really popular. Uh, it would at least be popular with me. And, uh, and I could give tasting notes, having tried them all. Um, yeah, anyway, Ellie, well done. Congratulations on completing your thesis. Um, and that's all the news. Let's have a look at the rules of Fistimafel's puzzle. Modular region sum lines. These are the rules. We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So we've got to put the digits one to nine months each in every row, in every column, and in every three by three box. Draw in lines that move orthogonally from cell to cell. Two circles of the same color are start and are starts and ends of a line. So these two cells are the start and the end of a red line. Now, if you're interested or don't know how to draw lines in our software, the way to turn on the line drawing tool is to click the cog icon and make sure you have enabled the pen tool. I always have the uh, pen tool enabled and that will bring up an icon uh, to the right of the number pad. And if you click on that, you can select, uh, let's select red and we can draw in lines like this. Now we're told that the lines move orthogonally from cell to cell. What does that mean? That means they do not do that. They never move diagonally. An orthogonal connection is uh, across an edge, basically. So not, not, a, not through a diagonal. So we could have something like that, for example. That might be a, a possible way that the red line could be constructed. Um, lines may not intersect themselves or other lines. Okay, so what we can't do is have a line that sort of does this. 
that that was going to be wrong for many reasons it's going to intersect a green line and it's going to cut its own red line which is not allowed uh, the lines drawn in the grid act both as region sum lines and modular lines additionally digits cannot repeat on a line now you may say what does all that mean but thankfully there is further explanation so region sum lines digits on a line have the same sum in each region the line passes through and by region i'm guessing it means three by three regions if a line passes through a region multiple times, each individual segment sums separately. OK, so Fistenfeld probably doesn't know that there is a new way that we have of explaining this rule. So I might, when I do the, um, the, the rules on the screen, I might rephrase that because let's, in fact, we're going to have to draw a line, aren't we, to, to make this work. Let's draw a line. Draw this. So that might be the A line. Now, if this was the A line, the way I would describe the rule now is that box borders divide the grey line into segments, each of which has the same sum. And that allows us to see that those four digits there, so the line moves along here until it hits a box border. So this forms a line segment. Then it moves again until it hits another box border. So those would form a segment. These would form a segment. And that, oh, so this, this actually doesn't work as a line. Um, uh, but, but anyway, the principle is correct in terms of how you would calculate this. And in this situation, what we'd be saying is that the, the sum of this digit would be the same as the sum of those four digits would be the same as the sum of those four digits would be the same as the sum of those two digits and the reason this doesn't work of course is that the minimum these green cells could be would be one two three and four they add up to ten and i can't write ten into the blue cells so this couldn't be actually a way this line worked um but but that's how region sum lines work um now modular lines Every set of three sequential digits along a mo modular line must contain a complete set of residues modulo three. And that's a very complicated way of saying, um, let's draw another line in. Let's draw an orange line connecting these, these up. So look at this section of three cells. This has to have one from the digits one, four, seven, one from the digits two, five, eight, and one from the digits three, six, nine. And that's because if you think of the set three, six, and nine, if you divide three, six, or nine by three, you always get a number, you get an, an integer with no remainder. So three, six, and nine have the same sort of quality, modulo three. Um, whereas one, four, and seven, if you divide those by three, you always have a remainder of one. If you divide two, five, and eight by three, you always have a remainder of two. So you need to have one of each of those types of digits in any set of three along a line. Now, what that means, I, will, I mean, this isn't really solving. I will just explain it, though, is that the modularity of this digit is going to be the same as the modularity of this digit. Because if these three cells have to have one of each modularity, and those three cells need to have one of each modularity. These two are obviously common to both of those sets. So these two will have the same modularity. These two will have the same modularity. These two will have the same modularity, etc. So that that is all the rules. So let, right, let's just read. Let's just make sure that we've understood those. So we have to draw lines, orthogonal lines. The lines act as region sum and modular and cannot have repeated digits on them. Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. But now I get to play. Let's get cracking. My first thought is that the modularity of this cell looks like it's trying to be restricted. It's got a five and eight looking at it. So it almost can't be from the two, five, eight set. Um, Ah, OK, so the green line here. Yeah, because lines can't cross other lines. This green cell is effectively fenced in at the top of the grid, I think. Uh, by, by, by that, I mean, if it goes over here and then tries to get down, my phone's buzzing, that's fine. Um, 
it's going to cut the C line or it's going to bump into the D line or the A line. It's, it's, going to, it's going to be in a bit of a mess, isn't it? So I think it's got to travel down here. Um, now... Yeah, okay, and I'm going to claim it doesn't then do that. Yeah, that's right, I think. Okay, um, let me explain what I'm thinking there. I'm thinking about the modularity, actually, uh, sort of combined with the region sums. So, uh, if, the, if the line closes, what we can see immediately is that this cell and this cell have the same modularity um, because they are sort of three steps apart on the line. So if this, if imagine this was from 369, this was from 147, this was from 258, then this would have to be from 369 again so that these had one of each modularity and these also had one of each modularity. So these are from the same modularity. Now, this digit and this digit are from different modularities. So that means that the, the sum of these two cannot have the same modularity vis v3 as the sum of these two. That's impossible because, because, because these two are different and these two are the same. So, so the sums are wrong. The sum must be, must be wrong. I mean, let's actually do an example. Imagine this was 6, this was 9. So this, and let's say this is from the 147 modularity, then this would have to be from the 258 modularity. And it just, the, the mathematics of this cannot work because this is going to have remained a one when divided by three, and this is going to have remained a two when divided by three. I hope that's clear. It's sort of, it's, it, 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 it is clear to me so that we have to, we have to cut that off. Right, um, so now, now these two have the same modularity. Yeah, we can't repeat a digit, can we, on a line here, so... I don't really think this can go here now. If this line goes to here, then I am going to claim that the minimum sum now that the digits on this line can have. Yeah, because we can't cut the D line. So I can't do I can't do this and then come round the corner to reattach to B. That's that doesn't work. So I have to stay in box four and either dip out of box four at the bottom, which looks very difficult or turn and close. Let's say I turn and close. That cannot be right because I've got six different digits there in box four and the triangular number for six is 21. So the absolute minimum I can make these squares add up to is 21. And those cannot add up to 21 because they're only two different digits. So these could have a maximum sum of 17. So yeah, I mean, let's just try and exhaustively prove. Yeah, you can't do it. And if you're going to leave the box and come back in, you're st you've still got the same problem. These, that's still six different cells in box four. So that's still adding up to 21. Yes, okay. So we can't go there. So we have to go down. We probably have to close now. It's the same problem, isn't it? If I go down again and then close, I'm going to get to at least... Oh, maybe I could do that, actually. How long is, how long is that line? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine. No, okay, you can't do that because it's ten cells. And because we can't repeat a digit on a line, that's not going to work. There's going to be a there must be a repeated digit on that line if it's ten cells long, and we can't repeat a digit on it. Or well, it's it's paradoxical. There are, there aren't ten different digits in Sudoku, right? So we because we can't have six digits here because because twenty one cannot equal seventeen. We have to close therefore.
Now, now, what does that tell us? So now with the triangular number for 4 is only 10. So we know that these squares add up to at least 10. Uh, um, that one is the same as that one. Yeah, maybe I do have to shade this in, actually. That one is the same as that one. And these two must be the same as each other, which looks p perverse, but I think that is right. That one, yeah, then go three more steps and we hit the same modularity. So they, so this line breaks down like that. So this line is divisible by three and two. Um, it, hopefully that's clear. But and the, the reason it's divisible by two is that by the region sum rule, those that domino has to sum to the same as that quadruple there. But by modular arithmetic, the sum of three different moduluses, or th three, the three different remainders, so the sum of grey, blue, and orange will contain one digit that has a zero remainder, one digit that has a one remainder, and one digit that has a two remainder. When you add up all the remainders, you get you get back to three. And when you divide three by three, you get zero. So, so, so I mean, again, that's, that's, that's a little trick that I've seen before. But basically, mathematics proves that if you have three different, yeah, the, the sum of three different modulo na numbers, mod, or three different, modulo three numbers, if you see what I mean, is going to be divisible itself by three. So that that line is divisible, or th those three cells are divisible by three, those three cells are divisible by three, therefore the line overall is divisible by three, and it's divisible by two. So the line is divisible by six um, overall, two times three. Uh, and then what do we say the minimum sum of it was? Oh, well, it's got to be, it's got, right, the line itself the minimum I could put on this line would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, which add up to 21. 21 is not valid because it's not divisible by 6. So 24 is possible. 30 is possible. 36 is not possible because 36, I, um, 36 divided by 2 is 18. And I can't make those two squares add up to 18, even if I make them as big as possible. They'd only add up to 17. So that tells us this is what is so magical about this man. He is just ludicrously clever. Um, right, so that tells us that this line either adds up to 24 in total or 30 in total, which means that these two squares either add up to 12 in total or 15 in total. Wow. And if they imagine they added up to 15 in total, then... They, there are two ways of making 15 in a Sudoku domino. 7, 8, that's interesting. Yeah, I know what I find. It. Anyway, we're not going down the don't talk to Simon at parties route. Or 6, 9. Well, I can't make those 6 and 9 because 6 and 9 are from the same modular set. And that's expressly against the rules. So if this is 15, this has to be 8 on top of 7 because of this cell. And then these... Well, then, then those would have to be the other. So these are from the three, six, nine set. And let's just, let's just pencil mark this in. Eight. So this would be from two. Oh, this couldn't be five. So that would be two or eight. Oh, well, no, that would, that would just be two, wouldn't it? You can't repeat the eight on the line. So if... If this is 15, this is 2, and this is 1 or 4. So the sum of those two digits is either 3 or 6. And the sum of these digits needs to then be either 9, which it could be if this was a 3, 6 pair, or 12, oh, it could be 12 with a 3, 9 pair. Okay, but the problem here is is more tricky than this, isn't it? Although, hmm, it's still a little interesting, I think. Oh, 
No, it's huge. It's huge, right? Because if if these if this adds up to twelve as a domino, which it would be in the version where this line adds up to twenty four, that's still restricted. Because um, twelve, how do you do it in a domino? It can't be three and nine, which is one of the ways, because three and nine are from the same modular set. So it's either eight and four; they are different, or five and seven. And if it's eight and four, we'd have eight here and four here. And if it's, f oh, well, if it's five and seven, all bets are off. I'm just going to see if this works. If this is eight, four, that's 12. This would have to be one, two, three, and six, because we couldn't use the one, two, four, five way of making 12 in, uh, in four cells. So if this is eight, four, this is one, two, three, one, two, three, six. So this would be a three, six pair. This would be a one, two pair. Oh, bobbins. Okay, so I have to introduce more options here. But, the, but this doesn't take into account this might be five, seven, and there's no restriction on that. If this is five, seven adding up to 12, this, ah, well, if this is 5, 7 adding up to 12, this is still from the, the 3, 6, 9 modular set. But also, because we've used 5, this can't be 1, 2, 4, 5 again. So it's still 1, 2, 3, 6. Um, 1, 2, 3, 6. So this would be 3, 6. This would be 3, 6. And this would be 1, 2. So, um, I've sort of lost track now, I'm afraid, of exactly, I'm not sure, for example, if those, well, yeah, there's always a three in this domino, isn't there? Because the maximum size of those four cells is 15, so if this was a six, nine pair, it would definitely add up to too many, once we added these two digits in. So there's definitely a three here. This we don't know. This is either 8 on top of 7, 8 on top of 4, or 5, 7 in some order that we don't know. And this... Well, this is either a 1-2 pair. I think I said that a lot. What was the version where this was not a 1-2 pair? Um... I think that was when this added up to 15. So this was 8, 7. Eight, seven. Oh, I see, yeah. Okay, if that's 3 and 6, that can be 2 and 4. And that would put a 4 here, apparently. Why wouldn't the 4 be there? Oh, because the 8 has to be on the top. Ha! <laughs> wow, okay. Goodness me, wow. So if the 8's on the top, the 7's below. This has to be from the one. This has to be from the 147 modular set. So if we're looking at a 2-4 pair here, this would be the 4. So that is not a 4, apparently. Golly gosh. I mean, that's astonishing how much... How much you can get with this rule set from just two, that's two green dots along the perimeter and a small restriction in terms of pushing how, how the green line must sort of come down a little bit. And then all of a sudden you can get, you can get pencil marks, restrictions. Right, so does the D have to come through this little channel then? I'm going to claim yes. If the D goes round the E, the E, well, by the time the D closes, which, which would, wouldn't be like that, but something like that, the E couldn't get out. And if the same problem, if we cut the C off, that's not going to be popular with the C, is it? So, this, so the D has to come down here. The F has to go along the bottom row to there. Again, if the F goes round this side, by the time it closes, 
I mean, it could close, but the E is going to have to come out and be too long. I'm going to a ledge. One, three, four. One, oh, hang on. Let's try and do this slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I mean, it's not even close. There's no way. Because, because each line can't be longer than nine cells. Um, uh, don't understand how I'm going to get any restriction out of C's really. Oh, or maybe, oh, oh dear, dear, dear. I've had some horrible thoughts about C all of a sudden. Well, okay, my horrible thought was prompted by noticing that the C couldn't do that. Because if it does that, that number and that number have to be the same by the region sum rule. So that's not right. But then I suddenly thought, could it do that? And there might be a reason it can't, but I don't, I don't think I know immediately what that reason is. Um, Hmm, no, well, I don't know. I don't know, that might be possible, but it could probably go up here as well. Yeah, it, it, it can't do that for the same reason it can't do that. As in, th these two numbers would then be the same by the region sum rule. So if it goes up there, it has to keep going up there. Oh, dear, 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 this is tricky actually, isn't it? Um, the D, that digit, is 6, 7 or 9, I'm going to claim. Yeah, that is right, actually. That is right. Be because the next digit along this region sum line here is going to be either that one, that one, or that one. And that means that this line is taking three cells in box 5. And the minimum sum of three different numbers in Sudoku is six if they are one, two, and three. So this is six, seven, eight, or nine, but it's not eight by Sudoku. Now. How do we do this then? Um... Let me just think about this. <laughs> uh, let me think. What's the minimum length of this line? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's at least a six length line. That makes me think this can't be six. Because that means even if I keep the... Well, actually, the line can't do that anyway. So maybe if the line did that, that would still be a length 6 line. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, it can't be a length. It can't be a, it can't be a 6 here. I think I'm just going to state that for the record. I actually think that might have to be a nine. But that's really an, mm. uh, what Because what I'm thinking is, if this was a six, I'm going to take one, two, and three on the line in box five. Now then we have to talk about this cell, which can't be a six, because if it's a six, it's repeated on the line. So this would have to be made up. It couldn't be a three cell sequence because that needs a one, two and a three on it. And we've used that up in box five. So it would have to be a two cell sequence that adds up to six. But a two cell sequence that adds to six is either one, five or two, four. And one and two have been used on the line already. So I don't think that can be a six. But, I, but by the same token, I don't think it can be a seven either. Because if this is seven, however the line moves here, it's going to have one, two and four on it. 
What's this square? This can't be a 7. So it has to be a domino. can't be a triomino that adds to 7, because that would need to be 1, 2, and 4. So it's got to be a domino somehow that adds up to 7. 1, 6, 2, 5, and 4, 3 are all not available, so it just doesn't work at all. Right, so sorry if that's taken me too long, but that's a 9. So this is not a 9. Yeah, so, so this... I think this has to be a two-cell sequence. The, re the reason I'm saying that is that there's going to be some three-cell sequence in box five that adds up to nine. Now, if you make nine in three different numbers in Sudoku, you will use two of the low numbers. You will always use two of the digits, one, two, and three. So let's think about that. The, the, the three ways of doing it are one, two, six, one, three, five, and two, three, four. So 1, 2, 6 has 1 and 2 in it. 1, 3, 5 has 1 and 3 in it. 2, 3, 4 has 2 and 3 in it. So you're using two of the low numbers here. So if this was a three cell sequence, so if the line did something like, um, I mean, it can't do this actually, but if it did do something like that, then in theory, this line needs to have two of the low digits and this line needs to have two of the low digits. Well, given that there are only three low digits, one, two, and three, you would ne necessarily repeat one of them. So that can't be right. So I think this has to be a two cell sequence, which means it's either doing this, which it's not, is it? I mean, that's just going to make the line too long, I think. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that's 10 cells. So it doesn't, it doesn't go there. So it must go here. And we know it's not a three cell sequence, so it must turn. We know that one's coming to there and this can't be a four cell sequence in box five because the minimum sum of four different numbers is 10, one, two, three, and four. So this line does this. Now, what does that mean though? Mathematically, it means that um, I don't know. <laughs> I've noticed that this digit is three or six by modularity. If that's any, if that's six, that's a one-two pair. Um, if that, in fact, if that's six, that is a one-two pair. This is a domino that adds up to nine. That would have to be four, five. And does that break something? Well, maybe not actually. Okay, so one option is that this is six, this is a one-two pair. And does the modularity break in some way? No, that works from a modular perspective as well. So that this is probably right. This is probably a six. If this is a three, how does that work? Three. Um, well, the problem is that this now could be two, four, or one, five. I don't, I don't see a way of, I don't see a way of saying which of those is correct. So this is three, two, four. This is one, eight, isn't it? So that's one option. And if this is three, one, five, three, one, five, this is a domino adding up to nine that is not, that is two, seven. Right, that, that doesn't work because that's going to make those the same modularity. If it, ah, is there always a two on here then? Yeah, oh gosh, there is. Oh, this is the very point that I saw right at the start. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Look, um, this can't be 2-7. Because if this is a 2-7 domino adding up to 9, those two squares become a 1-4 pair. 1 and 4 are the same modularity. So that's not possible. 
So in fact, I could have figured this out before. There is definitely a 2 in this domino, and therefore that square is not from 258 modularity. So that's either 147 modularity, or, three, six, or it's from 3 or 6. I don't, I don't know how to do that, but, but hang on, I want to come back and just work through the options on this line again. So 6 went with 1, 2, and that left 4, 5 here. If this was 3, what did we rule out? We ruled out 1, 5, so this could be 2, 4. 3, 2, 4, and this is 1, 8 then. I know the, modularity, the modularities are working there. Right, so, so 2 is now interesting because 2 is definitely on this line as well. I've, I've learnt my lesson <laughs> from looking at a 1, 2, 4 pair on a line that are next to each other. You, you have to include 2 or you get a repeated modular number. Um, so 2 in row 6 is in one of these three squares. Um, okay. And it's, it's the accompaniment. Let me think about that. If that's 1, 8, they're both 2, 4 pairs. If that's 4, 5, they're both 1, 2 pairs. Right, so these dominoes here, this domino and this domino are the same. Uh, so they, yeah, uh, I'm not sure how useful that is, but they are the same combination of digits. And that's because if this is 1, 8, this becomes 2, 3, 4. So this is a 2, 4 pair. But if this is 1, 8, this is a 2, 4 pair. And if this is a 4, 5, this is a 1, 2 pair. And because this is 4, 5, this is a 1, 2 pair. So, so the digit from the 1, 4, 7 modular set that is used in this domino is used in this domino and will appear there. So there's a 1 or a 4 for definite in these squares. I don't really know how to I don't really know how to say it. Maybe I'll use letters. I'm going, I'm going for the whole caboodle here. Uh, so there is an A down there. A being a digit from the 147 modular set. Um, This bit not being able to be all oh, phones buzzing again. That's all right. Um, this not being able to, for, to be from two five eight feels like it's in some way important. Doesn't it? Ah, yes. Look, look at my C now. My C can't go that way because we've already looked at that, um, and 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 now it can't dip down because this blue thing's got in its way. So it must go up. And then, then we worked out it couldn't turn, or these numbers would be the same. So it goes up again. Uh, now, if it goes up again... No. Okay, it doesn't go up again. Because if it goes up again, once it... Uh, sorry, let me go back here. Once it, it, it shuffles across into box one, which it must inevitably do, to close to here with orthogonal steps, it's going to have four cells in box one. And the four cells cannot add up to a single digit total. So it must go across here. And then it's either going to take this one or this one. And then close here. So this, this one feels like it's got similar properties to this one, actually. In the sense it's a length six line. Um, but can we do any better than that? It's a length. It's a length six line. So, uh, well, no, it is a length six line. If we populated it with the smallest digits we possibly could, it would add up to twenty-one. But that has to be divided into three modular sections because it's in three different boxes or three region sum sections so so this digit is at least equal to seven that must be true but once that's 
Once that's a seven at least, you now can't populate the line again. We can't pop the, populate the line with one, two, three, four, five, and six now, because one of the digits is at least seven. So I don't think, I don't think this line does add up. I think this is eight or nine now. If this is seven. That would imply that the line overall adds up to 21, which it can't do if this is 7. That's clearly paradoxical. So this is 8 or 9, and the line either adds up in total to 24 or 27. Now, how do we do that? If that's, if that's eight, then that is two or five. Because it's, the, it's got to be of the same modular set. And this digit is of the same modularity as this digit, isn't it, I think? So those two are from the same modular set. Let's, t let's try and keep track of that. And these are from the same modular set. So if this was from the 369 modularity, it would have to be a three or a six. Ah, oh, I can't quite get my head around this, sorry. If this is 8, the three digits here add up to 8. But they have to be of different modulus. It can't be 1, 2. Oh, I see. Oh, it's simple. It's simple, I just hadn't understood it. Right, this is not 8, because it doesn't work. Um... And the reason it doesn't work is that there are, if this is 8, there are three digits in this box that add up to 8. Now, the three different Sudoku digits that add up to 8, there are only two ways of doing it. 1, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 5. Now, neither of those are from... Yeah, not, that they just can't be... Oh, it's, oh, I've seen another way I could have seen this. That, that they obviously aren't of three different modular sets. The way I should have done this instantly, but my brain was recalcitrant and awful, naughty brain, naughty brain, is simply to say, OK, there are three different modular um, qualities on the line in this box. Therefore, that has to add up to a multiple of three. So this has to be a multiple of three. That's a nine, and that's been available for, for ages. Sorry. Um, does that mean that's a no? We, we just know three is in one of these, don't we? We don't know that nine is on the line. Uh, so this is now a three or a six. Right, okay. These are of the same modularity that is not the three, six, nine modularity. Oh, that, well, that's beautiful. I know what this one is. Ha! <laughs> now, finally, I get to use this point I spotted at the start, which is that this, this if this couldn't be a 2, it has to not be um, from the 258 modular set. And we've worked out it's not from the 369 modular set, because we've had that one already. So this is from the 147 modular set, and it's part of a three-digit total that adds up to 9, so it can't be a 7. That is a 1 or a 4. So that's a one, two, four triple now in column thingy thing, the technical term um, for column two. So that's one, four, or seven, a snooker maximum. So this, it's not one, because if this is one, this square here has to be an eight, and it can't be eight by Sudoku. So this square is either five or two. Now, what does that mean? So the next digit, either this digit or this digit. Is 
is oh I see ah okay right so this line doesn't go here is what we're really being told and, and that's because remember the next cell on the modular line that emerges from this square is from the 258 modular set so if we do go upwards five it can't be it can't be two which is pencil marked here so it would have to be eight in a three cell sequence that adds to nine that's just not going to work is it so it's got to go here which means it then goes there now this square is from two five and eight and it's not eight so that's two or five so this is this is a two five pair and if this is five that's going to force that to be one eight okay this is not four I don't th I think this if this is four that's also four and four has repeated on the line I might have just got that wrong when I went through it in my head let's go through that together so if this is four this line is four two three and then this is a five by Sudoku by the fact it can't be two anymore because twos appeared on the line so that's five and that has to be four to add up to nine and get two fours on the line so that is one So this is two and this is four. This is going to do things, isn't it? That's two and that's four, remember, because we worked out that the quality of the digits here was the same. So this doesn't have A on it anymore. It has four on it. These add up to six. Uh, no, that's fine. That is fine. These are from the same modular set. Oh, hang on. Well, yeah. if this is 2, 4, there's no 4 here anymore, which means that that's not, no, that could still be 8, 7, couldn't it? Oh, bobbins. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting stuck. Um, do I now understand that this is not four five i suppose that's one eight this is a three so that's a three that's useful probably so this is now this is two three and four apparently just by sudoku of all things but do i actually know the nature of this digit now if that's yeah i do that can't be nine because this would be 18 we've we've ruled that out so that's got to be a six three pair and we are adding up to 15 here so this is eight on top of seven so eight is in one of those squares by sudoku these two squares add up to eight and they're either two six or three five but can we do better with no we can't do better with modularity can we oh dear um and these squares oh i don't know those squares overall add up to 17 and those add up to seven so these add up to 10 and they're either three seven or four six There's a nine down here. <laughs> I'm floundering now. Um, nine is in one of those squares in box box four. So nine is in one of these squares. It's a very, it's such a cool puzzle. It really is. The magic these lines are doing is really extraordinary. Um, Maybe I should colour these in. That's grey colouring, isn't it, for the 25 set, 258 set. And I should make these consistent. So those ones are blue. These ones are orange. So orange is that one. Orange is that one. Four is blue. Two is grey. 
Ah, so I can get the 1 and the 8 sorted out by modularity. That's got to be 1, because it's got to be from the same modular set as the 4. Uh, so this one is therefore 8, and it, it becomes grey, look. Um, 5 is by its nature grey. So we're looking to try and make triples, aren't we? Triples of each colour, that's going to be the helpful thing. 8 is grey. So yeah, there we go. There's a triple in this row. So the rest of this row is either orange or blue. Uh, no, that's not even true what I was about to say. 4 is in one of those squares in box 1. Eight is in one of those squares in box five. Eight, oh, you, nearly, nearly. Eight is in, oh no, that's not even useful. Sorry, eight in one of those squares in box two. Fistimafel, how could you do this? Make me do Stoker. I'm, 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 I'm shying away from this. Let's look at another line. What do we think? F, E or A? A seems very difficult to use. That feels like a disambiguator. Unless this is an enormous line somehow. I don't know. I mean, I just, I just feel like that line is going to do something like that. I mean, it can't. Hmm, actually, that is a bit interesting. Let's just take a moment to think about the grey line. So I, one thing I've seen is that the grey line doesn't do that. Because if it does, look, look what happens to it. It has to turn up. It's got to get back here. So it's got to turn there. And then it has to close. And then we'd be saying this digit is the sum of four different numbers. Well, the triangle number four is 10. We've already looked at that. So that can't, that doesn't go there. So it could do that, it could do that, it could do, uh, no, it can't do that even, can it? That's again saying four digits here are equal to, to, to one digit here. Can it go down? If it goes down, it can't go down again, so it'd have to go across. Oh, I see, and it could do something like that. And there's no particular problem there, because, well, hmm. No, there isn't. I don't think there's a problem. 7 and 6. 13. Yeah, these could add up to 5. Yeah, I mean, if there is a problem with that, I'm not immediately seeing what, what it is. So, so it's probably not the A line. It's probably... I would say it's probably the E line, but that feels very difficult to understand. The E, what's the minimum length of the E line? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, the triangular number for seven is 28. So there is at least 28's worth of digits on the E line. Which, uh, okay, well, okay, and it must take at least three boxes, mustn't it, to get from there to there? Yeah, because it can't travel diagonally. So it's either going to go there and down into here, or it's going to go there and into here, or it's going to take some more circuitous route and take more boxes. So... Oh, am I wrong about that, actually? Hang on. Let me think about that. If it... How do we get a handle on this? So if it takes... If it only goes into... If it only goes into three boxes... If it only goes into three boxes and the sum of the digits on it is at least 28, then in each box we need to be adding up to at least, 
well, the line overall would have to add up to at least 30 because it couldn't have a 9. Yeah, each region sum could, couldn't only be 9 because 9 plus 9 plus 9 is only 27. So each, each parcel along the region sum line would be at least two cells long. It would have to spend two, two digits in each box. And that might be interesting because it might stop this from just exiting straight out because it might have to spend a, a turn or two in box five before it leaves. But here's where it gets complicated. It could, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hang on, how many cells is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so it could do weird things like this and dip in and out of boxes and take five boxes. It's always going to take an odd number of boxes to get E to close, but, but it must visit the line that we draw from E to E is an it visits an odd number of boxes. Hopefully you can see why that is. Um, it's because these are on the same bishop's color, um, box five and box nine. So obviously the next box we visit will be on a different bishop's color. And then it doesn't matter which way we go from there, we're going to visit the same bishop's color that box five is on. So we must always be, you know, on the same parity in terms of the number of boxes that we're visiting for E. So E either it either visits three boxes. I mean, it can't poss it can't visit seven boxes. That's impossible. It's, an, it's only got length nine. I did manage to find a version of this that just then that, that visited, that did visit five boxes. That, that was a length nine line. So it was just about, it just about worked. Right, okay, but we can rule this out without putting any digits on it at all. Yes. Yes, okay, so if we accept, and I think this is reasonable, you can't possibly get a line. You can't draw a line from E to E that visits five different boxes that is not nine cells long. That I'm going to claim is true. I mean, I don't, I don't quite know how to prove that, but it, it seems, given that I need seven cells to go on a totally direct path, to get, to get this totally direct path, to, to, to visit two more boxes with only two more cells of degrees of freedom, I think it, it's clear you must, you must use those two extra cells that you that you that you have at your disposal you can't do it with only eight cells now and that allows me to make a different argument which is yes we can visit five boxes by going on an on a length nine line from e to e but if we do that we can use a secret to our advantage, can't we? I think that's right. Yeah, I think this is right. So as a secret that I only tell my very favorite people, if you're watching this video still, you're definitely one of my favorite people. Um, and the secret is that all nine Sudoku digits sum to 45. So if that if that 45 length of four, or line that contains 45 worth of digits has visited five boxes, then in each region, 
there should be nines worth of digits. Now, if that's true, the nine on that line is in its own box. It is the single cell. So hang on, let's work out where was, when I tried to draw this before, where was it? Was it, it was something like that, wasn't it? So which there should be, yeah, that one, that one would have to be a nine because I've got to put the nine somewhere on this box and it can't be accompanied with any other digit and still work. So that would be a nine. But then how do all the other dominoes on this line work? Well, they're going to have to be the various pairs of numbers that add up to nine. They're going to be a one eight, a two seven, a three six and a four five pair. And the three six pair cannot work because they will, whichever one of these dominoes is a three six pair, it's got the same modularity on consecutive cells and that's going to break the world. And we don't want to do that. So, so what we now know by checkerboard logic is that to get from E to E, we visit exactly, I see this isn't gonna do very much for us. I'm really afraid about that. What we've now learned is that to get from E to E, we have to visit three boxes. And we know that to visit three boxes, because the line overall adds up to at least 28, but we need a number that's divisible by three. The, the, the value of the line now adds up to at least 30, which is so that the line needs to spend or collect tens worth of digits in each box. And therefore, if this is the starting point of the E line, and it is, it cannot immediately leave box five. So it does need to go there at least, maybe here as well, but definitely it needs to do that. Right, so it has got eight on it then. It's got eight on it and a number that is not a one because that would be, oh, well, it could have a one here, but that wouldn't be enough because we know it's got at least tens worth of digits on it in box five. So even if it did have, so, so it's got, a, so it's at least 13 now, isn't it, I think? because it's either an eight and a one here, and then it must have another digit, which would have to be at least a five, or it's just a plain old eight and five here as a minimum. So that's at least 13. So the line overall now adds up to at least 39, which is getting bigger. Um. Nine, no, I was suddenly thinking I was going to be able to put nine on the line here, but I can't, I can't put nine on the line. I can't put, no, because that would make this 17 and 17 times three is 51 and that's more than the secret. Oh, it's, no, it's clear, right. Ah, this is lovely. Right. The, okay, here is the point. What, I, what are the digits that I've not put in box four? Well, they're five, seven, and nine. Ah, total, totally useless. Um, actually, hang on. I'm trying to just tidy up my pencil marks. Can I do anything? I can do something with seven as well. Um, right. So the point I was thinking about is, okay, well, well, that's the, actually the simplest way. The simplest way I can put the question, this, this isn't quite how I saw it, but let, let me distill it down, is where is five in this box? Can five be here? So five's only got two possible positions. If five is here, then it puts five on this line in, co in consecutive cells. Five and eight are from the same modular set, so five is not there. So this is nine, this is seven, this is five. And now, and now the point is that seven is joining the eight up here. So this is a seven, eight pair. These squares are one, five, and six, I want to say. So, oh, oh no, okay. Um, 
15. Well, it can't be more than 15 on the line because 3 times 15 is 45. That's all the digits available. So, so this, now, this now does turn. Um, it turns. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this again. It, what does it turn and hit? Well, it hits a 9 because the digit that's next on the line by modularity has to be from the 369 set and it can't be 3 or 6 by Sudoku so it hits 9 so those are not 9 and it's got to get to 15 in this box so it needs it's probably 2 and 4 probably what if it got to what's this digit this digit is well, these two digits are from 5 7 and 8 yeah, so, so if it takes this digit, um, it can't do that because it, it needs six more. So it would have to take a five here and then a one and get out of the box. And you might say, well, it could do that here. It could go five, one, but then it's going to enter a box here and it needs to get to here. And it's only allowed to visit three boxes. We've worked this out already. So it, it definitely doesn't go there. It's got to dip down here. And then it's got to stay there because it's not got to 15 yet. So it must do that. And that means this square is a 3. This is a 2-4 pair. Now we're at 15 here. We're at 15 here. Uh, but we need... Okay, we know, that we know this doesn't close now. Because we need to use all... Because, the, because we've got 15 here, 15 here, and then 15 in this box. All, four, all nine Sudoku digits need to be used to get us up to 45. And we haven't got, we've only got uh, seven cells on the line at the moment. So this doesn't close. Um, but that square is mod, uh, that's three, it's a three or a six. Yeah, okay, so the, what are the digits that we need in here then altogether? They're the, they're the other Sudoku digits. So they are 1, 1, 5, 3, and 6. And 1, 5, 3, and 6 do add up to 15. So that's right. So 5... Yes, okay. So we're doing a little loop, aren't we? We're, we're, we're doing that, or we're doing that. And that means this has the same modularity as this. So that's three or six. It's not. Uh, that means there's a three up here. Look. What? Uh, no, we don't know. Yeah. Okay. But the other digits I've got to put in here are a one-five pair, and there's a five here. So the 5 is in one of those two squares and the 1 is in one of those two squares. And it either goes 1, 5 here or it goes 1, 5 here and then closes. So we probably want it to go this side so it, it forces the F out further. So why can't that be a 1, 5 pair? Don't know. <laughs> Not sure. Um... Right, ah, ah, but that's not the point of this, is it? We don't know which way round this goes, but we don't have to, to know the modularity of the line. Because this 5 forcing the 5 down here means 5 is the digit that occurs on this line just before a 369 modular digit occurs. So here, this should have one from the 258 set just before the 9 occurs, so that's 8. So that's 8, that's 7, that's 4, that's 2. Right, so these squares are 5, 7. These squares are 1, 6, 8, I want to say. That's not 8. One of these is 1. Uh, 3, 6 takes 6 out of this one. Oh, bobbins, I don't know. Um, sorry if you can see this. Uh... I don't know what to do. Could we argue about... Um,
I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm sorry if everyone everyone can see the obvious next step. I don't think this is restricted. Oh, I've got a five. Ah, ah, it's going to be Sudoku. Look, I've got a five here. I could have used this. So that's two. That's five. These had to add up to nine. So, well, nine overall. So that's six. That's four. Don't tell me that does nothing. Uh, it does put a four in one of those cells by Sudoku. Five comes out of this square as a possibility. Oh, where, where's five in box one? It's got to go in the corner. No song, but that's at least more digits that we get to place. Five is in one of those three squares. What are those digits? Three and something. Three and nine? Ah, that's useful. Right. Three and nine here, and I've got a three pencil mark there. So we can ask where three goes in this row. It's got to go there, look. So three is in one of those three squares. And we can probably do more. One, two, four into these squares. What about this column? It's got eight at the bottom of it. And what's the other digit that goes with that six? Hmm, it's not great still. Three, seven, nine over here. And that means... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, hmm. We might have to think about the A line again. I've just I've just seen it can't go down now. So it. I think the A line is quite quite restricted. We might have to think about that. Let me just see if I can see anything easier. Oh, what about those digits? They're four and eight. No, not four and eight, four and six. Oh, bother. Four and six. Yeah, we can do that. That's six, that's four. So that's six. Four is living in one of these cells at the bottom of column nine. Right, and that's, that's, that is good enough. Right, now I know which way E closes. Because if E closes here, this is a 1-5 pair, remember? Well, that doesn't work now. Because if that's a 1-5 pair, that's a 1-5 pair. That requires us to put 1 and 5 at the top of column 7 by Sudoku. But I can't put 1 and 5 here. Well, I could do, but then I couldn't put the 3 pencil mark. The 3 pencil mark wouldn't work. So that's wrong. I think that's I think that's good logic, isn't it? It looks right. That looks right. So that means I think we have to turn this way and then close. So this is one. This is five. This is not one. This is not five. This is not one. Five, oh, nearly. Five is in one of two cells in box eight. Five is not here. So in column two, three, and seven to place. Oh, we're not going to know, are we? Two, three, and seven to place in column seven. Uh, what do we know? We know that's not three. So that uh, two or seven different modularities of course we can't assume anything as a result of that what about up here though oh maybe maybe this is the time we have a look at the i did spot something about the a line so i will come back to that in a second right yeah let, let's just, the thing i noticed about the a line is that it doesn't drop now because if it drops down here, it has to turn. And then 
you can see that the value of this square is not 7, 8, or 9, or 6. So it's a maximum of 5. And it's not even. In fact, what is this? <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> what is that square? It's got. It's really limited from a Sudoku perspective. It's not 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. It's 1 or 2. Oh, good grief. Right, okay. Well, that, that makes the point even clearer why this can't go down. Because if this goes down, it picks up at least three here. So it's a maximum of five for the time it's spent in box two. And then it hits an eight immediately. So it definitely doesn't go down. But it's really tiny as well. So I want to say that this square is... Well, let's just think about this. What are we saying? Can this go out here? It can't, can it? Because this, we, whatever we draw in box three is going to be larger than one or two. So this has to go up and then it has to turn. Which means that this digit is not a two. Now, if this is a three, three looks really good actually. Because that's going to make this a 1 or a 2 to, by mathematics. But then we do get one of each modularity. We get a 1, 2 and a 3 on the line. That's if this is a 3. If this is a 7, well then that then this has to be a 1. Because it can't be a 2, 5 pair because of the 5 here. If it's 1, this would be 6. And we'd have 1. And that doesn't work. Oh no, it does. No, 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 it doesn't. 1, 6 and 7 doesn't have anything from the 2, 5, 8 modular set. So that, that's impossible. This is this is a three. So this is a one two pair, which gives me oh, does that actually do anything though? Yes, the three is useful. Three, nine. So nine nine and five are a pair in box three now. And these are from one, two, and seven. There's a one, two, seven triple in the top row. That's not two. So these squares are 6 and 8. Oh no, it still doesn't want to be kind to me. Um, this is a 7. Oh, that's a, is, that, is that true? Is that a 7? I think it's a 7 by Sudoku. So that means that's a 2 by Sudoku. So that's a 2, that's a 1. So we get a 1, 7 pair here. Yeah, oh look, okay, and we get a 7 at the bottom of the grid down here. So we now know the modularity of this, obviously. So that's probably going to be important. Probably. Uh, come on, let's just see, can we do any better over here, maybe? I don't know, this, it seems to me we know very little about this box. I can't I can't see how to do that so maybe we can what what is what I mean fundamentally we need to know what this square is don't we what is that square it's not one two three or four or five or six or seven eight or nine only I have a horrible feeling this is resolved. Uh, no, I thought I could do it by modularity, but no, seven is different in modularity from eight or nine. Um, well, okay, and because this is the one five, the pink line does venture into this square for certain. So maybe this is the point. What is the value of this square? And it is four, five, six, or nine. So it's, well, well, it's not 4, because 4 is the same modularity as 7. So it's now either from the 6-9 modular set, or 3-6-9 modular set, or it's, it's an, actually a 5. And then that would be a 9. So it would go 9-7, which is 16. This would be 5. That would be 6. 
And then the next digit would have to be again from 369. Hmm, I don't know. And how are we going to decide how many boxes this visits? Ah, okay, so if this was 9, if this, if this is adding up to 16, we can't visit 3 boxes, can we? Because then we'll be at 48 for the total of the line, and that's more than the secret. So the only way this visits 3 boxes if it, is if this is 8, 7, and it spends... It's got to... No, how can it... It can't visit 3 boxes... Because it's in the it's in the wrong bishop's colour, in the sense that it go it goes from here to here, and then to get back to here, it's going to have it's going to be on an even total of boxes, uh, and that just cannot work given this adds up to at least fifteen. So it, so it, right. So this is good. That means that this closes now. This this closes with some sort of alacrity. It doesn't. The, the digits in this box on the pink line add up to 15 or 16. Um, okay. I might, I might have to pencil mark these two cells. I'm afraid. I think that's that's probably going to be imperative let's or at least a way of doing this so that's four six or nine by sudoku this digit is one three five oh goodness six or eight really that's horrific that's right <laughs> one three five six or eight it's not restricted at all. So I'm just pausing because I can hardly believe that I can't reduce this somehow a bit more than that. Okay, so how do we do this then? Five, six. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If... This is going to be... This is going to be easier to calculate, I think. Oh, yeah. If it goes up there, look. Because... Yeah, that, that's worth looking at. If it goes up there, this couldn't be a 4 so early after a 7 on the line. They're from the same modular set. So this would be... That's quite interesting. So if it does turn up, this has to be from the 369 modular set, which means that's a 9, um, because that's three, three steps away. So this would, be, this would be 9, this would be 6, this would be 5, so we'd be on an 11 count, and we'd have to get to 16, 11, 5. No, hang on, let's, so I think... I think I need five more. I think we've got we get six here, five here, and I need five more on the line, which is impossible. Right, that's this. This does this does not work. This is really interesting. So what happens here if you turn up? Because this can't be four; it's too close to seven. That means that these have the same modularity, and that's modularity is three six nine. So this is nine. This is now has to be 6. This has to be 5. We've got 11 on the line, adding up to 16. We need 5 more. If we, if we close it quickly, we're going to have two 5s on the line. So we can't do that. So we have to take a circuitous route, which means we're taking at least 3 more digits. And even if those digits were 1, 2, and 3, which they actually can't be, but imagine they were, they would add up to a 6 plus 11 is 17 which is more than the total we're trying to get towards so in fact we now know for sure that the line go it does go into the awkward square it goes here um and now well at least i suppose we can knock one out of this now which is a very a very modest thing to be able to do it probably then closes, but I'm not certain about that. 
this can't be 8 either because then this needs to be from the same modular set and its only option would be 8. So this is, we've got this down a little bit. It's 3, 5 or 6. Oh, I suddenly thought if it closes there now, this has to be from the 147 set and it can't be 4 or 7. That would have to be a 1. That's probably what it does. That is probably what it does, but I'm not certain. If it takes a more circuitous route than that. It would have. Oh, ah, I see. I see. Right. The point is, I hadn't spotted this until now, unfortunately. The point is. Ah, this, is, this is classic fist and pearl. It's brilliant. It's quite brilliant. What I should have thought about is how many digits. How many digits were necessary to close this this loop from this point uh, in box eight? And we can see that we're adding up to 16 or 15. But if we if we don't close quickly, if we don't close like this. We're going to have to take at least five digits, aren't we, to get up to to get up to a 15 or 16 total. Therefore, the line that we would draw in that instance would have to include one, two, three and four and then a five or a six as the as the last digit. Well, the point is now and it may have been the point before. Where do you put the four on the line if you want to do this? There's nowhere to put it. It's impossible. So, so actually we've now, I have now deduced it does that. And that's going to be massive, I think. But I suspect I could have avoided a bit of the, bit of the stuff I did before by thinking about this and whether it could possibly have closed in, 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 two, in that many cells. But this square now has to be from the 147 modular set. It has to be a one. What am I, mm, okay, I'm getting a one in the corner. That's one of the results of that. These two squares now either add up to 14 or 15. There's no way they add up to 15 because they can't be a 6-9 pair. They'd be from the same modular set. So they must be a 5-9 pair, which means I know the order. So that's 9, that's 5. And that means that's 3. And that should, I think, so we're, we're heading. So this is 8 now. So that's eight, that's one, that's one, that's seven, that's seven, that's five, that's five, that's nine. Oh my goodness. Um, that's eight, that's six. We've not put two and four, two and four into the bottom row. We can do that by Sudoku. And what do we need in this box? Two and nine. Okay. Ah, two and nine. Um, one has to go here. Five and six are resolved by Sudoku. Six and eight get resolved. I ought to be able to finish column five now if I spend a long time thinking about it. There we go. That all gets fixed. Um, right. What's going on in this column? Seven and eight. Yes, I can. Eight and seven get placed. Seven and nine get placed. This square here. I don't know. Okay. What are those? Four and six. And there's a six here, right? So that's six, that's four, that's four, that's two, that's two, that's nine, and that is as usual from the great man. Just a brilliant puzzle. How clever was that? And the answer is exceptionally clever, exceptionally clever. The, and the logic's so refreshing and interesting because there's so many different things to sort of try and keep you keep track of. Uh, it's just it's breathtaking as usual i could i could obviously extend all my shall we do it let's do it two five and eight they should all be gray nines threes and sixes should all be orange ones fours and sevens should all be blue and there we go it's actually it's not that pretty is it let's change the color of gray make it green that's better that's more pretty is it right I should have checked that straight away. Uh, it is right. 
88 people in seven days. Seven days, it's been out for seven days and no one told me. Good grief, good grief. I could have had, I could have had seven days of earlier pleasure, but it was well worth the wait. Welcome back, Fistum of Fell. 90 minutes of pure joy for me. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.